every video game ever made has had cut or deleted content. And Bully, also known as Canis Canem Edit, is no different. Having heaps of cut content, features, and characters. That's why today, we will be taking a closer look at all of Bully's cut characters and reviewing all of their known lore and information. So with no further ado, let's get right into the video. Sid. Sid is a short, muscular kid who was a part of the cut clique known as the Punks. Sid may be a dwarf, but he is still strong and a skilled fighter, even standing up to Johnny Vincent himself. Sid wears a red Bullworth vest, spiked bracelets, boots, and khaki pants with suspenders. He also sports his signature mohawk. Sid is conflicted with the strong Napoleon complex, being both insecure of his height but also extremely vain, posing and constantly flexing his muscles. He also would have been a bit of a class clown, pulling mean-spirited pranks on students and teachers alike, as well as vandalizing property with graffiti. He seemed to have beef with a cut teacher character named Flea, however little is known about him. He may have also owned a dog that he would use in fights. He is good friends with Russell Northrop, possibly even being his best friend and would have hated Jimmy Hopkins if he were to be implemented in the game. Sid and Russell were close with the jocks, and would enlist their help to bully both the nerds and the greasers. Sid would have been heavily involved in the original version of the Halloween mission before it was changed. Little else is known about him, other than him fantasizing about violence and, despite being a class clown, being a pretty serious and angry character. There is no dialogue or other character backstory other than that due to him being scrapped before the game even made it to the beta stage. Ian Originally planned to be the shopkeeper of a weapons store in Blue Sky's trailer park, Ian would sell Jimmy weapons such as bottle rockets, firecrackers, and the Volcano 4000. His appearance is very similar to a cholo, wearing baggy clothes, an untucked flannel, and a blue bandana on his head. Despite being Caucasian, he speaks in a stereotypically ethnic way, using typical street slang and phrases in a cringy manner. He seems to be a reference to characters such as J-Rock from Trailer Park Boys, or Jesse from Breaking Bad. Being a white poser from a trailer park who is obviously pretending to be a hardened gangster. And being a close friend and business associate of Mr. Watts, the chemistry teacher, who helps him manufacture the fireworks. He is a heavy drinker and a pot smoker, he also admits to being unemployed and living off of welfare. Dialogue implies he may be afraid of rats and may sell weed to the townies and dropouts of Bullworth. It's also implied he used to be a student at Bullworth Academy at some point, but it's unknown what became of that. Nate Nate is a stoner who works at a record store in New Coventry. He sells weapons and music. He sports a blonde mohawk, a gray t-shirt with a design on it, camo shorts, and sleeve tattoos on each of his arms. He is close friends with Ian and Gurney, possibly even being in Gurney's band. He absolutely loves music with it being his sole characteristic. His only hobby is getting stoned and listening to music in his free time. He is extremely mellow and calm, even when being antagonized but is prone to extreme anger when pushed too far. Little else is known about him, unfortunately. Floyd Floyd is an overweight music nerd who owns a record store in New Coventry. The store was intended for the unreleased Xbox version of Bully that would allow Jimmy to purchase custom music. It's possible he works alongside Nate in the same store. He is also potentially a college dropout who decided to follow his passion the best way he could. He does not appear to abuse any drugs or alcohol, but does seem to be a bit of a bum, mainly listening to old rock music or hanging out in garages listening to small bands perform live. He is extremely arrogant and full of himself, despite having no real reason to be. He is weak and apparently hates violence, but is prone to extreme anger over small things. This usually just leads to him whining or crying instead of anything 
actually problematic. O'Rourke. Jake O'Rourke is a Bullworth firefighter who only appears in the fail cutscene for the mission The Gym is Burning. His original function was to respond to fire alarms and fires caused by Jimmy or other students. The feature for causing fires in Fremont was unfortunately cut in order to comply with the game's T rating, so O'Rourke was cut as well. O'Rourke is an older man with a grizzled appearance and a Freddie Mercury mustache. He is a bona fide cynic and finds little, if any, enjoyment in life, believing life is pointless. His dialogue implies he hates literally everything and everyone for a variety of reasons. He specifically hates the kids at Bullworth the most, most likely due to them all being complete menaces to society. The only things O'Rourke seems to like is muscle cars and the color red. He resents the politicians in Town Hall, as well as the academy itself, due to the fire department's funding being constantly cut and redirected to the school. Despite being a grumpy old pessimist, there is a soft side to him, with him being regaled as a hero for risking his life saving an infant from a burning car. Ironically, he is a chain smoker and apparently smokes over three packs or 60 cigarettes a day. Bob Bob is the only bully who was cut from the final game. However, his character is fully complete and can be added back into the game through slight tampering with the game's files or mods. Bob is an openly homosexual bully who has a serious love for all things athletic, with most of his dialogue consisting of him enthusiastically talking about the gym or sports. Bob is also a member of the wrestling team, taking a lot of pride in his wrestling promise, with it being both the subject of most of his conversations and the theme of all his insults. It is unclear if Bob truly enjoys the sport of wrestling or if it just feeds his fetish for physical domination. As some of his dialogue implies he gets some sort of sick sexual kick from wrestling. It would also seem Bob has serious masculinity issues, freaking out and going on a self-hating tirade if he feels emasculated. He also admits his obsession with winning and being the best comes from his daddy issues, with his dad and grandfather only showing approval if he wins. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you today. Be sure to stay tuned for more bully content or other types of content in the future. If you liked the video, please drop a like and a comment. If you didn't like the video, still drop a comment. Tell me how you felt. This has been Sigullable. Thanks for tuning in. And stay blessed.